the bottom lane as well. Yeah, exactly. They oh, the they're gonna go. Oh. No, no, they're gonna go around with these two. No. All right, oh, looking for gone. G. Alliance are pissed. They want to find the kill. They got chill and touch as well. Right clicks. There's gonna be the jump and well, nice save. <laughs> oh, Sioma helps he him out. It he still should be the fire. kill. Oh, oh, they got him. Limp draws first blood. blood. And nice that was a fair save too, right, right there. But we'll have to watch and see. Um, Mag. Yeah, he's just gonna throw out the Firestorm. They're all converging onto him, and they have the Stomp. They also throw out the Dagger. EGM is here as well. Chilling Touch slowed down. He Damage coming fine. out. Is no, it gonna be enough? No, Hand skin. Oh. The wraparounds. All right. They got that kill. Okay, maybe it's not even needed, but all right. Four-man gank alliance again. This is what they did in game number one. Now Seneko finding limp in the mid lane. They're gonna burrow a strike. Got some more damage coming out and throws out. Well, the light strike ray is gonna keep them back for the moment, but not enough. The rotation from Handskin wasn't there in time and pressure on and start taking down that tower down to half HP already. Oh, have they found him, Handskin. There's the burrow, steal the rune. Bit more damage coming in. Did they decide to go for the courier? No, instead. It's gonna be enough once he. Another stun. Uh, Clarity. Limp is showing. Oh, good recognition there. They dropped down the ward. See that it would have been a combo. And Sioma now with the TP. He's probably just gonna try and create as much space as possible. Not so fast. Brave. Oh, he didn't have enough mana for it. Oh, man, that really hurts. Okay, now it makes sense. Uh, they weren't oh, going was... for it. They do take down Mag in the bottom lane, but... He was saving his stun, so he couldn't get out. <laughs> Top lane, the... Well, return comes in right as the right click from a creep, so... They both end up dying up in the top lane. That's really... Safe and carry. How much you benefit from it. Oh, Soneiko. Yeah, they're wrapping around here. They've been able to find him. Burrow Strike Caustic down as well. G looking for the... No TPs. No TPs so Nothing. far. Nobody's here. G almost dies there. They were nice able to kill stun. off the bear. Now Seneco into ready. trouble. Limp. Oh, he wants it. Laguna Blade. Oh. Give it to me. No, he's going to end up getting caught. There is another chance. And they he's are going to get the kill. So finding the kill regardless of that. I mean, bottom lane, they take down Handskin again. So we talked about how bad of a lane this was going to be for Loda. There is haste at bottom. This dazzle is gonna be in a problem. Uh oh. Well, light strike ray a little bit off the mark. Oh, grave he disruption. He TP. He's gone. They get that kill. He wants to go for okay. crimson guard first. Not a bad choice, especially against the uh, CK and the uh, long druid. Oh, trying to kill. Oh, they got him. The nice little ice vortex there from EGM. Taking multiple points in that instead of the cold feet. Uh, which you're not always going to want to do either. But yeah, it's it's good. They scan out. Realize that EGM and Loader are here. Now they need to be really careful. Haunt is up. So can sort of make a little bit of uh, crazy things happen with this. Also, it, yeah, this blast is going to nice come out. Connects blast. on a two. Is it going to be enough damage? They are going to bring wow. down one. A second as well. A ton of damage going out now. On to Vega. And they'll be able to get vision. There's the Laguna Blade out as well. Vega takes Spectre. But I'll be damned if Alliance don't kill every other person. This was really not, not a place to go. They even fast and get a lot of gold when you get that Aghanim Scepter plus uh, Octarine Core, she's just a beast. A real we see monster. AA ult coming, nice combo. It's it gonna be able to kill him off though. They do end up getting mag down there. And mid lane. They don't get the deny. Uh, looks like though they have been able to Astral Hanske is going to go for a TP, but he is just going to end up dying under tower, I think. A little bit sketchy. His illusions are... What is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just buying some time. Yeah. They caught out Jonas. He's in trouble as well. Done. Burrow. He has a hoof stomp. Tries to get out of there, but can't kill off the bear in time. The ice Blast might finish somebody. It just stays around too long. Now he's just going to be able to survive right now. Okay. 
He's beefy. Yeah, he doesn't want to go blink yet. Now he's gonna go after this. He needs it. Dazzle. Let's see. Oh, in some trouble there. They caught him. And they're also gonna be able to get that D ward, so... Double value there for Alliance. All grouped up. They want to use this new blink, da blink dagger that's here, and they actually spot them out now with that ice blast. But that does mean the ice blast is on cooldown. Blimp still there. Bro, striking to connect. They're chasing it down. They're gonna try and run away. Yule Scepter. No damage is being dealt by this. Finally, it's gonna take a ton of it. Haunt into the middle. Everybody did you Still doing a lot of damage. And Loda forced to back out and away. It's a pretty nice little passion that came out from Vega, and they take down Lena. Yeah, but they killed the snipers there twice. Oh, they're chasing. They're going for it. They want to take the tier 2 tower. Drop a savage roar to make sure that you don't end up dying. The dire scan is here, so they realize that Limp and EGM are in the area, but bottom lane is where they're going to go on instead. They've caught out Loda. A good disruption that was going to keep them alive, at least for the moment, and the haunt out away. They're going to turn Loda the game now. Onto Sioma as well as Ninja Ra. They're going to be fine. And it looks like they might even be able to find a follow-up kill. Dark Rift into the middle of everybody. Light Strike right not quite on the point. EGM is going to die here. So, very strange fight. Oh, they might catch Lina. Oda eventually just get out. In his inventory right now. K2, okay, if he drops a bottle, one's maybe going to be uh, Octarine plus Blade. The dagger, or, but he needs an Aghanim Scepter, that's that's why I don't like the Bloodstone, I would skip it. Hmm. He has 2.2k mana pool. Uh, Loda does not have enough, oh. well, I, I don't think Seneko can kill him, actually. Yeah, it should be enough, the epicenter! Nice bait. Oh, but Loda's gonna Loda's die gonna for die. it, I believe. Savage Roar, yep, he's gone. It's unfortunate. This is just about as good as it gets right now for Alliance. They're Dark Rift. And the Dark Rift. Okay, to the top lane. And, oh god, no. Oh, Loda. Oh god, they caught him. There's nobody here. There's no shrine. There's no help. Loda is going to end up falling, I believe. Maybe they can catch up to he him. Dichera jumps back and away. He is at the Scylla Bear, but he's gonna nice. get him. He's gonna get him. Oh. That really hurts. Spirit, now uh, Silla Bear has a BKB following. ready. Oh, that wasn't really needed, but all right. Still chasing. And they find it. The Spirit Bear is being blocked by a creep. That does not happen. The first hit root. They would have had the, sa or the Savage Roar anyways, but yeah, Jonas just adding insult to injury. They take him down. To me, it's felt like the momentum of this game has just completely shifted into the Vega. Or Vega. Oh no. They have a, a lot of uh, uh, single target spells. Oh, look at CK. Yeah, this is a problem. They're going to end up going in, but it's worth noting they just canceled the Blink Dagger, I believe, or they're the TP back they just, of the Centaur, and so Vega is going to be able to do this. Sineko is still in a lot of trouble, but there Limp. is no TP for Centaur. Ditchia takes down Limp, and now you're also going to end up seeing Hanskin go down. They don't have the Centaur back with them right now, so. Alliance forced to almost go for a trade. Want to try and trade out the tier three here for the tier three in the mid lane. Like, they but they're gonna push so much quicker. They won't be able to do it. I don't know why. Brave, staying alive, doesn't trying have... to go now onto Sioma in the back wow. lines and actually bring him down for the first time. Atos still going to town up in the top lane there. The CK as well as the uh, the Sand King as well as the Centaur still battling it out. Dichiara runs at Loda. They're just gonna keep him back and. Very low, but the shrines, they're just not doing enough damage up there. They needed the centaur and so badly. And they're using the Dark Rift as well. Nice combo. They're gonna get centaur as well. God, that was so well played by Snake. He spotted the whole thing out, and they only get a tier 3 tower for two lanes of barracks. Yeah, ranged barracks, 300 Dyer's HP, but it's tower. gonna be dead in next push. Well, from bad to worse. And a lot of the damage. Sioma's actually going to drop pretty low here from this, and they'll be able to spot yeah, him out. They but know where you are. forward. Dark Rift as well. They get the Burrow Strike and a catch on to Loda. Jonas also going to be controlled. Sioma's still alive in all this. He is finally going to go down, and they have managed to take down the Sand King as well. Loda turned upon too much damage out from the CK. He has a heart. He has a Manta. He's got illusions. They're going to find him. Limp in a ton of trouble. There's the Haunt back into it. 
trying to save his buddies, but there's just no way for Lodi. He got caught by the eight. Jonas, the next one to fall here, I'm sure. They throw out the Pit of Malice. Alliance. Again, crumbling. And what's going to end up being their potentially second 0-2 series of the day. Yeah, and look what G is bringing. It's uh, full skady. Uh, can't believe you just said it like that, but that's fine. <laughs> G is going to end up getting caught out in mag. Throws out the Pit of Malice. Is he going to live? Yeah, he's I'll fine. I'll keep our eyes on him. He's... because this hero needs to run faster. Stand potentially here for Alliance as they stand on the high ground. There's still a large kind of capability for a good team fight, but they need the burst in a big way. Oh, Jump nice on a three. That's a nice one. Uh, A-Blast is going to go in and also go to Korean. Good bit of damage. That is going to be the BKB already popped for Snakeo. Epicenter not doing a whole lot either. The A is gone. Hanskin eliminated in a second over there. Dichiara is a monster, and they are going to be able to kill off Snakeo. That's also the gem. But I don't know if they're going to be able to deal with the CK. He is, he is just so huge. He needs to back. Oh, man. Yeah, that is a real problem. And Centaur gonna try and chase down Mag here. Well, some extra gold from those illusions. 28 gold per illusion. Not bad. Have a cheese on uh, Ditcha as well. Plus Aegis on uh, Syllabar. This is gonna hurt. Oh, wait. They went for the Indian's Imprison on the Lota. They're gonna spot him now. And. Pop Salty, looking for the catch. Atos down, Whoa. pulls in EGM, going to drop. They are going to be able to turn it back around for a moment, but no, it was never going to happen. Loda running away. Limp is going to die. Probably another one. They're, they're focusing on all yeah, the other heroes. Just leaving Loda to do the Rexus. Yeah. He's just making a, a brick wall in front of him. Took down all of the supports, waiting for the rest of them now as well. They have the grave on Ditya. He's lived through this at least for the moment. Immediately heals back up and Lip gone again. No buybacks. GG gets called. And you gotta feel for it. It's a it's a rough series of games. Very long play and well, Vega end up taking it. Congratulations. Yeah, that was some nice play by Vega.